about pain there. Yep. If something happens and you experience grief, that to me is pain. Yeah. But is that if you're experiencing grief over, well, over someone you've lost or yep. whatever, is that being out of harmony with love? Yes. In what way? How? Well, well, if you're in harmony with love, you'd be blissful all the time, wouldn't you? Even if you've lost someone you love. There's no such thing as loss. So the grief comes from a false belief. You're only grieving because either you're missing them, you can't communicate with them anymore, and all of these things are all coming from false beliefs. The truth is you can communicate with them, they are still alive, and all you can still have a relationship with them, you can even see them, and in later in your own development here on earth, you will be seeing some of your dead friends that have passed, right? You will, right? You know, in the future, if you stay here on earth, you will actually see these people in what seems to be the flesh, even. These are the things that are all possible, but we just don't believe it. Right. And it, the grief comes from the error belief, not from the truth. Does that make sense? Yep. AJ, is yep. it possible that we see them if we, only if we progress in with our emotional journeys, or is that like a new time on earth where everyone, regardless of their state, will be able to see it? Yeah. Second, second answer, which is everyone will be able to see it. The reason it why. Now. Sorry? <laughs> Not getting involved in those. Because, because it depends on the soul condition collectively of mankind. See, at the moment, if people started materialising right in front of you, what would most people feel? Yeah. Absolutely freaked out. Would they not? Now, so that means, that, uh, for, before a spirit can really materialise in front of you, you need to have dealt with quite a lot of your fears and your false beliefs and all of these things, right? So the earth will get to a point, and it won't be long away, where, where many people on earth are getting to the point where they've dealt with these beliefs, where there won't be this instant bad negative reactions to these materialisations. The truth is that these materialisations happen now, but they're done in such a, done in such a uh, non-invasive way that everyone thinks they're just people on earth, right? So, many of you will pass in the spirit world and a spirit will come to you and say, oh, you remember this guy that you met then? Yeah, that was actually me. And that was me, I was given the task of materialising a body to help you through a different, through, through a process that you went through. And many of you will actually have had that experience in your life and not been aware of it because you would have thought that well, you're just interacting with a person. Isn't that reincarnation? No, no. Materialization and reincarnation are totally different. Reincarnation is actually re being reborn into a child form, growing. What I'm talking about with materialization is materialization is a spirit creating an instant form that they can utilize for a certain job, for a certain period of time and then returning back to the spirit world. And that happens all the time. Through all the spheres? Uh, no, it, it's only the spirits in higher spheres that are capable of doing it. Yeah. The lower spheres, they need groups of spirits getting together to create a form. So you know what a ghost is? Well, often it's like a thousand spirits creating a form to scare people. Because one of them can't do it by themselves very easily. Because, you know, the reports of people they are angels, having yeah. those angels. Yeah, well, let's define an angel. An angel is any person who's progressed above the seventh sphere in the spirit world, a person who's at one with God, and there's billions of them. And yes, they are able to materialize forms and utilize them in these ways. 